okay so good evening all of you please put the heading payment streams today it's a very important class that we are going to do vaibhav vadva samriddhi vedi all of you will switch on the cameras and then they are going to attend the class okay yes so we are also going to start our basic excel classes <coughs> so please put the heading please put the heading payment streams so it's a very simple topic last day we learned if delta is constant and delta becomes a function of time so that is known as delta t correct and we were simply calculating the present value and the accumulated value of a sum of money correct so we were calculating the present value and the accumulated value of a sum of money so now what do i mean by payment stream payment stream means that now the payment is also continuous that the payment is also continuous the payment is also continuous so instead of one payment or discrete payments i am having a stream of payments that is known as rho t that is known as rho t what is this rho t rho t is the rate of payment at time t don't write anything rho t is the rate of payment at time t manasi sharma aditi verma mehak karoda krishna bobna all of you should switch on the cameras for attending the class okay so now instead of a single payment we have a stream of payments and the stream of payment is known as rho t rho t means rate of payment at time t rate of payment at time t okay so consider a situation where the force of interest is also continuous like it is dependent on time t that is known as delta t and the rate of payment is rho t so basically in the last class we were doing for single payment okay discrete payment like for example if this is the timeline so we have a payment of 500 we need to accumulate this to time 5 so this is the normal scenario we are going to write 500 a 0 to 5 correct but now they will say that the rate of payment from time 0 to time 5 is rho t which is given by something as a function of time t okay so what is we will simply do let's say suppose there is a stream of payment between time a and time b let me give you an example of rho t how does rho t look like rho t is equal to rho t is equal to mansi ji everything is fine in russia hi yeah i hope so <laughs> okay you are safe no, i am based in prague okay it Check is very problem. close mm, not very close okay. but we are two countries away okay so now russia has uh un unfolded its nuclear weapon also and they are telling that stay alert all the nuclear so is a very powerful yes. man is he, he knows yeah. judo also <laughs> rho t 100 into 0.8 to the power t okay so this is how rho t looks like now this is the rate of payment at time t so what we'll do is first let's say suppose this says accumulate this to time b 
so what we are going to do is this is the rate of payment at time t so we are going to write 100 into 0 0.8 to the power t exponential integration we are taking this payment from time t to time b delta s ds this is clear to all of you okay so this is the payment and this is the accumulation factor now there is one payment or there is a stream of payments there is a stream of payments and whenever there is continuous payments we will always use integration this is the accumulated value at time b of a single payment at time t but there are multiple payment times like t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 so we need the accumulated values of all these payments which are paid from time A to time B. So we will again do an integration and this integration will be from A to B. Basically the time period in which the continuous payments are happening. Okay and why are we using integration? Like for example, forget all this, forget all this whatever I have taught, okay. Now you all are foolish, last day my camera was not working and no one pointed out that sir your camera is not working. It hides, you all should have told na, that sir you are not visible and that recording is a waste, I need to re-record that. It was just a simple error in the wire, I could have fixed it in one second, you all, you all should tell that your voice is not coming. You are not coming, your screen is not moving. You all should unmute yourself and speak, na? I need to re-record that lecture again. And all the loss in the number of students I am going to take from you all. Now the student will not take admission, he is saying that sir is not getting a good camera. So, just think uh, like this. So, if you have two payments, of 500 at time 0 and at time 2. Let's say suppose delta is 8%. So you need to calculate the accumulated value at time 5. So what you will do? You will do 500 e to the power 0 0.08 into 5 plus 500 into e to the power 0 0.08 into 3. Correct? Okay. So why are we using this plus sign? Why are we using this plus sign? Because discrete payment time is given, correct? Okay, and whenever they say that there is a continuous payment stream from time 0 to 5, we will always use integration from 0 to 5. So the inner integration is for accumulating the payment at time t. And the outer integration is for summing. Continuous summation means integration. The outer integration is for summing the accumulated values of all the payments that is happening between 0 and 5. Okay. That is why there are two integrations. Now we will do a small sum. Now we will do a small sum. Write down illustration number 1. Write down illustration 1. So, Row t is given, row t is given 100 into 0 0.8 to the power t, okay, and delta is given 0 0.08. Now the continuous cash flow is happening from time 0 to time 5. The continuous cash flow by this rate, by this rate is happening from time 0 to time 5, okay. And they have asked us to calculate the present value of payment stream. It's very simple. Just think. Just think it like this. It's a very simple question. So what we'll do is, first we'll draw a diagram. So this is 0 and this is 5. Now here is T. We need to bring this payment to time 0. And there is one payment or there is a stream of payment. There is a stream of payment. So first we'll calculate the present value at time 0 of a payment which is being made at time t and then we will integrate all such payments which are happening between 0 and 5. 
they have said a company expects to receive a continuous cash flow for the next five years okay a company expects to receive a continuous cash flow for the next five years this means what the cash flow is from time zero to time five correct it is from zero to time five okay so what we are going to do is 100 into 0 0.8 to the power t exponential minus 0 to t the payment which is standing at time t i need to pull it back to time 0 okay and delta is 0 0.08 ds okay and again we are integrating we are integrating from time 0 to 5 to sum the present values of all the payments which are happening between 0 and 5 dt so it's a very simple thing so first we are going to take 100 out okay so it will be 0 to 5 0 0.8 to the power t e to the power minus 0 0.08 t dt okay so the third step will be 100 integration 0 to 5 0 0.8 e to the power minus 0 0.08 whole to the power t dt so it is of the form a to the power t constant to the power variable so it is what tell 0 0.8 e to the power minus 0 0.08 to the power t by by ln a and now we are going to put the values okay 0 and 5 this will be 100 please solve 0 0.8 e to the power minus 0 0.08 to the power 5 minus anything to the power 0 is 1 whole divided by ln 0 0.8 e to the power minus 0 0.08 please solve and tell me what is the answer sir yes we would have done this by the formula you gave earlier and then divided it by uh, e to the power 5 times 0 0.08 i mean calculating the equilibrium yeah but why will we do that okay they are going to check your basics right so if it's not correct then they are not going to uh, basically give you the marks na so when they say present value you apply the formula for present value See, being very honest, there is nothing new, okay? And if this is the type of question that comes repeatedly in the exam, okay? And this time, we are not wasting any time on gupshap and we are totally focused in the studies. Whenever I am taking a class, I am making sure the maximum learning goes to you, okay? Because I have received complaints, students say that please don't waste our time. I was like, okay. Anyone here attended the third class by video? Please raise your hand. It was comfortable, Dipesh. You didn't have any problem? No, sir. No problem. Please write down illustration 2. I am telling you the question. Please write down. A continuous payment stream is paid. A continuous payment stream. A continuous payment stream is paid at rate rho t is equal to e to the power minus 0 0.03 t. A continuous payment stream is paid at rate 
रो टी इज इक्वल टू ई टू दी पार माइनस पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टी फ्रम फ्रम टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू टी इज इक्वल टू टेन वट इज द एंसर टू फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट समथिंग राइट फ्रॉम टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू टी इज इक्वल टू टेन फुल स्टॉप कैलक्युलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पेमेंट स्ट्रीम कैलक्युलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पेमेंट स्ट्रीम कैलक्युलेट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पेमेंट स्ट्रीम At t is equal to zero. At t is equal to zero, given delta is equal to point zero four. So now the payment stream is for ten years. Okay, I am again repeating the same concept. So first we'll do it for one payment, which is e to the power minus point zero three t exponential. Minus will bring the payment to time zero, which is standing at time t, point zero four ds. Why ds? Because there is already t in the limits. Now this is the present value of a random payment made at time t. Now there is one payment, or there is a stream of payment. There is a stream of payment happening between zero to ten. So summing over the present values of all the payments which are happening between zero and ten. Okay, please solve this. So it's very simple. Please solve this. Integration zero to ten. E to the power minus point zero three t. E to the power minus point zero four t. T t. This is zero to ten. Per minus. Please solve.
ओके तो व्हाट इज द आंसर मह करोड़ा सर एक्चुअली आई वाज हैविंग सम नेटवर्क इश्यू सो आई वाज जॉइनिंग एंड जॉइनिंग अगेन इन दे सो तो एनीवन एल्स गौरव अग्रवाल यस व्हाट इज द आंसर 7.9196 ओह सॉरी 7.1916 ओह 1916 हम्म 1916 ओके इलस्ट्रेशन थ्री इलस्ट्रेशन तो डेल्टा टी इज गिवेन 10 e टू दी पावर पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टी एंड दी कैश फ्लो पीरियड इज फ्रॉम फाइव टू टेन यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट ए वी एट टी इज इक्वल टू टेन तो फर्स्ट लेट्स कंसिडर अ रैंडम टाइम टी So what we are going to do is 10 e to the power 0.05 t exponential integration. The payment which is standing at time t, we need to accumulate it to time 10. Okay, 0.07 ds integration. We need to take the payment from time 5. Sorry, this is for a single payment. Accumulated value of a payment which is being made at time t. we are accumulating it till time 10 and we are not having a single payment we are having a stream of payments from time 5 to time 10 okay so again you can keep 10 outside integration 5 to 10 e to the power 0.05 t e to the power 0.07 10 t dt This will be ten. Integration five to ten e to the power point zero five t e to the power minus point zero seven t e to the power zero point seven t t ten e to the power zero point seven integration five to ten e to the power Minus point zero two d t t. We ten e power zero point seven power minus point zero two t by minus point zero two five say ten ten e power zero point seven will divide by minus point zero power minus Then minus e to so there are two things they might say you to calculate the AV of the payment stream or they might say you to calculate the PV of the payment stream. Okay. <laughs> So till now we have completed time value of money, we have completed interest rates, we have completed force of interest, and now we are doing payment stream. So after this we'll be moving to annuities. Then we'll be doing increasing, decreasing annuities, and then we'll be doing equation of value. So all these come under the basics. So first we'll do the basics properly, and then we'll move to the higher chapters. Eighty-six point six is the correct answer. Now this is a special question. Eleven point 
इलेस्ट्रेशन नंबर फोर द टाइम पीरियड फॉर द पेमेंट स्ट्रीम इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव दे हैव गिवेन एस डेल्टा टी पॉइंट जीरो वन टी प्लस पॉइंट जीरो फोर ओके वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट पी वी एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड रो टी गिवेन एस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टी प्लस and there is a special form of integration that we need to learn integration f dash x e to the power fx dx is equal to e to the power fx a to b so the thing which is there in the power of e if you have in front the derivative of that then we can write it like this okay because the differentiation of this will be f dash x e to the power fx okay and chain rule it goes on na integration is a reverse process of differentiation so you can copy this so now we need to solve this have you all copied this please copy it fast so what is written at the delta t is equals to 0.01t plus 0.04 0.04 okay sir Thank and row t is 0.5t plus 2 so integration 0.25 row t is 0.5t plus 2 exponential integration minus 0 to t 0.01s plus 0.04 ds whole into dt so what we can do is integration 0 to 5 0.5t plus 2 exponential minus inti sorry inti 0.005 t square plus 0.04 t okay dt now see so we have integrated this and we have got this right so what is the differentiation of this this thing right so basically if this is my function if this is my function then this is my derivative are you getting it so once we integrate we have got this and if we differentiate this we'll get this na so basically this is the function so what is the function here function is what is the function here tell me first minus no what is the function my function is minus 0.005 t square plus 0.04 t so what is f dash x what is f dash x f dash x is minus Minus point zero one t plus point zero four. Now we need f dash x in front. We need this here. We need to take something common. How many four pesos make two rupees? How many four pesos make two rupees? Fifty. Fifty fours make two hundred, right? So. Two is there and point zero four is there. So I am asking in terms of rupee paisa. How many four paisa make two rupees? Fifty. 
and how many one paisa make 50 paisa 50 so we are going to take minus 50 common so if we take minus 50 common it will be minus 0 0.01 t plus 0 0.04 okay exponential minus 0 0.005 t square plus 0 0.04 t okay dt check this out check this out so it is of the form so it is of the form f dash x e to the power fx okay so our final answer will be minus 50 e to the power minus point double zero five t square plus point zero four t zero two What is the answer? Please write in the chat box. Yes, it's correct. Now, one more question, similar type, okay? So, this is illustration number 5. So, delta T is given. 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 t we need to calculate av at t is equal to 10 and we have got the continuous payment stream from time 4 to time 8 now listen 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 whenever we are given this type of question where they are asking av or pv that is not matching with the payment stream then first we'll accumulate it till time 8 only let's say suppose they might have asked the present value at time 0 then first we'll calculate the present value at time 4 and then from 4 we are going to take the value to time 0 ok so it is 4 to 8 and they have also given rho t so rho t 0 0.3 plus 1.5 t ok so first we are calculating av at t is equal to 8 so it is going to be integration 4 to 8 0 0.3 plus 1.5 t ok exponential integration t to 8 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 s whole into ds whole into dt We'll get a value of it. We'll get a value of this. We'll get a value of this, na? Then what we'll do is we'll accumulate the value at time eight, 
टू टाइम टेन बाई यूजिंग दिस डेल्टा टी ओके सो फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट दी एवी एट टाइम एट स्टार्ट
so what answers are you all getting are you all able to attempt the question so what answers you all are getting firstly we are getting accumulated value ha very good dipesh we are getting 73.66 and then what we are going to do is 73.66 exponential integration 8 to 10 delta t dt please solve and get the final answer <clears throat> final answer will be 184.8 please solve for this Rajyot, you got it. Manasi Sharma, Soumya, Samriddhi, Pranshi, Gaurav, Aditi, Arushi, Muskan. You all got the answer. From this week, we'll also start classes for MS Excel. Okay, MS Excel basics. Bhaiya. <coughs> hmm. I am not able to figure out what is the denominator. I got this one, but I am not able to like figure out what is the denominator. In the denominator? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This sum, yeah. like okay. currently illustration five. Yes, sir. Okay. So how many five pesa makes? Uh, 1.5 rupee. So it is 30. So 30 will come out. Okay. So this will be exponential. Uh, 0.018 minus t plus. Zero two five. Where my ओके समृद्धि देर इज नो डिनोमिनेटर इन दिस So it is coming positive only, na? Second expression is less than one. Okay. One more question. Illustration number six. 
So see, actually, currently, what happened is, I'll tell you, currently, I'm having 2019 material, okay? But the term in which you are giving exam is September 2022. So previously, there was two theory chapter. So now there is only one. So you might face some discrepancies in the chapter number. Like currently, time value of money is chapter number four. So in the new material, it might be chapter number three because one chapter has been removed. So we are going topic wise. Okay. So the first class is time value of money. The second class is interest rates. Third class is force of interest. So interest rates and force of interest will always be in the same chapter. And today we are doing discounting and accumulation. Okay. Known as payment streams. So illustration six, we have got a delta T function. So it is 0 0.04 0 t less than equal to 1 0 0.05 t minus 0 0.01 0 0.24 t greater than 5 <coughs> Okay The first question is you need to calculate generalized expressions for AT. AT means what? Accumulation factor, okay? And the second question is, rho T is given, rho T is given 25 e to the power minus 0 0.02 T. Okay? And the time period is given 5 to 10, payment stream. We need to calculate present value at t is equal to 0. So how will we calculate present value at t, t is equal to 0? First we are going to calculate the present value at time 5. And then we are going to discount the value at time 5 to time 0. Okay. First calculate generalized expressions for at. Do it fast. If you know how to solve this question then you have understood the chapter.
तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जनरलाइज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ए टी तो फॉर द फर्स्ट थिंग फॉर जीरो तो फॉर दिस इट विल बी ए टी इज इक्वल टू वॉट बोलो e टू दी पार पॉइंट जीरो फोर टी राइट ओके फॉर वन तो फॉर दिस ए टी विल बी ई टू दी पार पॉइंट जीरो फोर एक्सपोनेंशियल इंटीग्रेशन वन टू फाइव सॉरी वन टू टी पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एस माइनस पॉइंट जीरो वन टी एस Please solve this. After solving this, what is the answer? Swamya Agarwal. Sir, e power. Hmm. E power power zero point two four t minus zero point six. Sorry. E power one zero point zero two five plus zero point two five t square minus zero point zero one two. Hmm. and okay. the last one is wait 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 yes anshi sharma ji hmm what is the answer i'm not 100% sure of it e to the part 0.24 Point two forty plus point zero uh, point five. Six. No, you need to put five in the above equation, mm -hmm. and you need to solve for this. Then you will get e to the power zero point two four t minus point zero minus point six. Okay, I'll just do it for so you. A five. What you need to do is e, just switch off your mic. e to the power point zero two five into five square minus point zero one into five plus point zero two five. And now after this, in the second part of the question, we need to solve for payment stream, right? So they have given first we'll calculate PV at time t is equal to five. So it is five to ten. What is rho t? Twenty-five e to the power minus point zero two t exponential minus integration. We'll bring down the value to time five, the value which is standing at time t. Okay, zero point two four ds whole into dt. Please solve for this. Samriddhi, what is the answer? You will get sixty-three point sixty-three point two nine two. Yes, and then again we will bring down the present value to times zero, and we can do this. We can do this one by a zero to five. Okay, one by a zero to five into sixty-three point two nine two four, and this we have already calculated. This is a zero to five. Okay, what is the final answer of a zero to five? <laughs> is e to the power 0.6 e 1 by e to the power 0.6 into 63.2924 so this is how generalized expressions are very much effective okay now you can practice the chapter questions of discounting and accumulation and what is the final answer it is I am giving so much of time. Please read the material. I am telling again and again. 
प्लीज रीड द मटीरियल अगेन एंड अगेन इट विल हेल्प यू अलॉट ओके सो वी एंड द क्लास हेयर टूडे एंड ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन वे फ्रॉम मटीरियल वंस यू प्रैक्टिस द मटीरियल ऑफ डिस्काउंटिंग एंड अक्यूमुलेशन यूल गेट होल्ड ऑफ ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी नाइसली तो प्लीज प्रैक्टिस द मटीरियल एंड नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी इन्फॉर्म ओके आई ट्राई टू कीप वन मोर क्लास इन दिस वीक एंड आई ट्राई टू टीच यूर एनविटीज ओके थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू thank you sir